Hi everyone. It's one of my goals this year to help you guys become much better debuggers. And the first step in that process is understanding three different kinds of errors that can happen. Syntax errors, runtime errors, and the most difficult to debug, logic errors. So here you see pictured several syntax errors. You can think of a syntax error as similar to a spelling or grammar mistake in English. So examples of syntax errors would be an extra brace or a missing semicolon, incorrect capitalization, or using an invalid variable name, things like that. For this particular program, you see on line 5, I'm using double as a variable name, but double is a primitive data type, so it's a reserved word. I can't use it as a variable name. On line 7, you see that the isValid method is expecting a 2D int array as input, but I'm not giving it any input. Um, there's also a missing semicolon there at the end of the line. So those are both syntax errors. Finally, on line 10, the isValid method is expecting to return a Boolean value, but there's no return statement, and so that's what the underlining is about there. Um, note that whatever IDE you're using, it's going to try and guess where a syntax error is happening by underlining it or in IntelliJ highlighting it in red. Um, but the error isn't necessarily exactly where it's highlighting. It could be close by or it could be somewhere else. Usually, usually it's pretty good at guessing, but it's not always the case. Be very careful. A lot of modern IDEs will have suggestions for you for how you can get rid of the, comp uh, the syntax errors, the compile time errors. The problem is, um, because the computer is not smart enough to know what you're trying to do in the program, sometimes the suggestions it offers will be wrong. Uh, and if you have the program automatically solve the problem for you, it might make the syntax error go away, but actually you've just introduced bigger problems down the road for yourself. So don't just make the red go away. Instead, understand what's actually causing the error. Uh, and if you need to ask, please do. Okay, runtime errors are errors that happen when the program is actually running. So for example, if you accessed a location in an array that was past the end of the array, you would get an invalid array index exception. Um, the word exception in Java is, means something like error. And that's exactly what's happening in this code fragment. Um, you can tell you have a runtime error because usually the program will crash and you'll see some information related to the exception. Uh, displayed in red in the console. So here it's saying that there's an exception in main, and it will tell you the name of the kind of error that's happening, uh, java.lang.array index out of bounds exception, and then sometimes it will also include some other information. Usually, the here you see my cursor, usually uh, there's a link to the exact line of code that's generating the problem for a runtime error. So your first step in debugging will be to click on that to see where is the problem actually happening. OK, those kinds of errors are usually relatively straightforward to fix. The really problematic errors are logic errors. For a logic error, your program will run successfully without crashing. It just will do something unexpected. Um, or even worse, it will give you an answer that looks right but is actually wrong. So for example, here is a method that's intended to find the average of a whole bunch of values in an int array. So we loop over the array, and we add all of the values into a sum variable. And then we divide by the length of the array, so divide by how many we added, which is how you calculate an average. So that seems like it should work. And for some inputs, it will work correctly. Um, so understanding why this doesn't work correctly you won't see it if you just run it on whatever input pops into your head. You have to be systematic about how you test the method. The actual problem here is one you may not know about. Um, it's called integer division. Um, if I'm dividing two values and the one on the left is an int and the one on the right is also an int, even if the result involves a decimal, um, it will truncate that decimal, which means it chops it off to force the result to also be an int. So usually when we're calculating an average, we don't want the result to be an int. We want to have the, the full precision of the decimal output. Um, so we don't want integer division to happen, but that's exactly what will happen here. So that's the logic error in this code. Logic errors can often be a lot more complicated than that, and that's what we'll spend most of our time learning how to debug. Why don't you rehearse for yourself one more time in your head or out loud what were the three type of errors and what does each one mean? And then you're done with the set.